terrifying things happen in times of war, and that fear usually comes from having to face the enemy. But what happens if something paranormal creeps into the war zone? Instead of the enemy, you are faced with ghosts, apparitions and entities. This is not what you signed up for, and certainly not trained for. Because of the brutal nature of wars, they have attracted stories about supernatural phenomena since time immemorial. Of the more recent wars, Afghanistan has attracted its share of paranormal terror on its desolate battlefields. Because of its geographic location, Afghanistan has a long history of war from the British in the late 19th century, the Soviets in the 1980s and the present war since 2001. This is a place that is not only plagued by fighting and violence, but there are stories told of strange happenings where the enemy is not always the only thing to be scared of in this bleak and desolate landscape. The following are three haunting tales from the war in Afghanistan. Number 3. The Phantom Figure A soldier reported a mysterious phantom that would appear around the outskirts of their camp and suddenly vanish. It first appeared a little after dusk, a couple hundred yards from their position. One of the men told the others that there was a person out in the wilderness just standing there, and in the darkness he could just make out a dark shape. The sergeant was called over and he saw it too. And when he asked where the figure had come from, the private explained that it had suddenly appeared. Whoever or whatever was out there was just standing motionless with his back to them. It was very eerie. They watched this figure for about three hours just standing there motionless with his back to them. They could make out that it was an adult male, average height and build. But when they observed it through a thermal monocular, they were shocked to see that it registered no heat signature and then it just disappeared in front of their eyes. About six months later, the same soldier was out on patrol when two of his unit reported seeing two figures standing a couple of hundred yards away. They stopped the vehicle to check them out, where they appeared to be just two men standing with their backs to them. They were motionless and would not respond when spoken to just as previously happened six months earlier. The lieutenant called it in and some of the men got out to further investigate. The lieutenant and his men came back with weird looks on their faces and said, we're out of here. The later claimed that as they got to within 50 yards of the figures, they suddenly disappeared in front of them. Number two, the smoking entity. Jerry Aberdeen was stationed in Mosul, Nanawa province of Afghanistan in 2004 when a call went out on the radio that the airfield was under attack. All available infantrymen jumped into the closest vehicle and headed to the airfield to counter the attack. Jerry Aberdeen was in the vehicle with some other infantry guys and when they got to the airfield they saw some men trying to climb over the wall. The gunner opened up on them and the rest of the soldiers took up a position in a ditch on the other side of the road and opened fire. There were three soldiers alongside Aberdeen where they suddenly fired and one of the enemy dropped from the top of the wall. Right after he fell, there was a stream of black smoke coming out of him. The engineer made a comment that he must have been wearing a suicide vest and it malfunctioned. A few seconds later, the black smoke grew larger and started to take on a human looking form. What happened next was witnessed by all three men, leaving them totally aghast. The now fully materialized black smoke was standing upright and had red glowing eyes and a weird shaped mouth. The weed figure actually smiled at them and turned to run, but suddenly dissolved into nothing after taking a few steps. All three men just looked at each other wide-eyed for a second or two. The men said that they only discussed the bizarre incident once after the event 
and have never spoken about it since. Number 1. The Haunted Outpost There is an exposed outpost called Observation Point Rock, which is situated near the ruins of an ancient mud fort. It was captured from the Taliban in 2008 and holds a small contingent of US Marines. It also has a sinister reputation for being haunted. As soon as the Marines moved in, they heard about how Taliban fighters had been buried alive in the caves below. Whilst digging a trench, Marines were coming across Russian remains where a contingent of Russian soldiers had been executed there in the mid-1980s after being found by the Mujahideen. Not surprising, but with all the history of violence and dead bodies that were buried there, weird reports would start coming out amongst the troops stationed there. Noises with no discernible source, objects moving on their own, strange lights, disembodied cries or screams, the sound of footsteps or crunching gravel. When there was no one there, the sudden onset of heavy feelings of dread. The men serving there were often plagued with various strange phenomena. Electrical equipment would often malfunction and newly installed batteries would go dead within minutes. Machine gun fire or incoming rockets could be heard but nothing appeared to land or explode. The local people claimed that the place is haunted. The soldiers would witness strange lights in the sky at night. Strange phenomena were said to have been going on before they even arrived. The British soldiers who had occupied the base before them also supposedly experienced strange events and warned the American troops of what to expect when they got there. They claimed that shadows moved about in the desert, which was recorded by infrared cameras before vanishing. Dancing lights could be observed through night vision goggles. There were often voices coming from nowhere and screams coming from the desert at night. Corporal Jacob Lima tells one story concerning Observation Point Rock, where he claimed that one night he was startled by a chilling scream coming from one of the men, and when he ran to investigate, he found the Corporal Zolik cowering in fear at his guard post. Zolik claimed that as he was sitting there, he had felt breath on his ear and heard a clear voice whisper something in Russian. The man was so terrified that he begged him to stay with him until his shift was finished. As they waited there together, they would hear footsteps coming from the observation post above them, even though no one else was there. One night, Lima was scanning the area with thermal imaging and saw what looked like another soldier standing out in the desert. As he investigated further, the figure vanished into thin air right before his eyes. Other men frequently reported hearing disembodied whispers in Russian around the outpost. On another occasion, Lima was on watch and suddenly heard a dog that was kept there, named Ugly Betty, barking wildly at something. Thinking it could be the enemy, Lima put on his night vision goggles and saw what appeared to be a figure in the distance. He then switched to thermal imaging, but the figure was gone. When he went back to night vision, the mysterious figure suddenly reappeared, but had come inextricably closer. A switch back to thermal once again turned up no heat signature at all, but Lima felt that the eerie figure was still there. Suddenly, he lost sight of the figure altogether, at which point he felt a heavy tap on his shoulder. When he turned around, there was no one there. However, the dog continued to bark. <coughs> 